Welcome back. So, have you gotten it? What I wanted to show you here is that he that has light, he that followed me shall have. So, you having, you have a role to play to light it. Who has gotten the picture now? Yes. Yeah, so, the lighting is in contact with water. You get it now, right? I don't want to be misquoted because when God does miracle, I separate it from technology. Miracle is not what I look for. I, if I close my eye, it happens. If I wave, it happens. So we don't make it to happen through a way that... Because I know some people may be watching, ah, I know that Bob. Whoa, hey, hey. That Bob, I said I'm for online for, for, for Sweden. In Sweden, you put it in water, a light. It is in water, you put it. Don't need to continue. But if I give somebody this Bob now, that go and put it in your house. Go and light it in your house. It will not be the same bulb you know from the store. I can give you a short time that put this bulb. It will light for 15 days and blow up. And after that 15 days, for more than 15 years of your life, you will enjoy financial prosperity. Are you getting the spiritual side of the physical technology? Do you know Bible is technology? The written Bible. Show me your Bible. Let me see. That's good. Raise it above your head. Is it God that made it? It's his word that some a technology. Technology brought about, right? It was typed by a natural man. Maybe, maybe not a believer even. Most publishers are not even believers. They are businessmen, right? So it was typed by a natural man placed in a book. And sold. For you to use it. Supernaturally. And be blessed with a natural book. You are blessed through a natural book. Because your wisdom and knowledge. Makes it supernatural. <laughs> to another person it's just a book. To another man. The, the, the time you spend on this book. Can make you a world billionaire. <laughs> but you alone doesn't have it. Right? And now the Bible is getting more advanced. It's now on soft copy. Like whose? Whose own is on soft copy? Like my brother. It's on soft copy. Mine too. It's on Android. Galaxy. Amen? S7. So, now, this is technology that has been given to us. Has or his is on a, in a phone. But the way you use it is what matters. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just like the anointing water. It's manufactured by man. But when God gets involved in it. <laughs> you see answers that doctors are still sitting down to study. How can somebody leave the hospital after two days being under life support? No medical proof can back that up. Except God. Hallelujah. Let's go to, let's dash into 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 21. Then I'll start showing you how to follow. 1 Peter 2 21. 1 Peter 2 21. For even year unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his footsteps. Who did no sin, verse 22, neither was they found guilt in his mouth, who when he was revived, revived himself not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judged righteously. Who himself, he himself bare our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes. Ye were healed. Verse 21 says, whose steps we should follow? Now, question, how do I follow his steps? How do I follow it? Let's see how to follow his steps. Philippians chapter 3 verse 17. How do I follow his steps? I 
One, two, three, go. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so. As you have an example. Wow. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them. That's how to follow Christ. You know, some people know Jesus said, He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So, Jesus, I follow you. How do I follow him? Very necessary. Glory to God. How do I follow him? It's very relevant. Now, he said, one way to follow him, Paul is talking here, follow us together of me and mark them. You know, I may not be, have access to sit down with the man of God, Apostle Divine C.O. Carver, on daily basis to explain to me some nice things about his word, about God's word, or how to follow Christianity. But there are people he reverend, or there are people I see his lifestyle in. Paul said, mark them. There are people who talk like him. There are people who pray like him. There are people who love evangelism as he did in his early days. Mark them. As you are following the man of God, you are trying to mark these ones to link yourself. How am I communicating? You get yourself with them. That is how to follow Christ. This is where you bear me witness. It is a wrong saying to say that church is in your heart. Some people tell you, whether I go to church or I don't go to church, it's all about the heart. Which heart? Can this church gather in your heart? That your small heart pumping only little, little pints of blood. He cannot gather. The Bible says, forsake not the assemblies of the righteous together as, um, as some, their manner is. Forsake it not. I forsake it not. Glory to God. I am there always. Paul said, mark them. See that you follow them up. Use them for an example. Let them be an example. Let's see another way. I have about five scriptures to show you. First Corinthians 11, 1 Corinthians 11.1 This is Paul talking to the Corinthians. He's talking to the Corinthians. He said, be followers of me even I even as I am of Christ. Be followers of me as I follow Christ. Follow me as I follow Christ. Am I preaching to somebody in the church? Follow me as I follow Christ. Be followers of me as I'm of Christ. So, how can I follow Christ? I can't follow Christ directly. I need a director. Paul says, don't claim to know Christ directly. Follow me. God has set some ahead. You don't press your way forward. You follow the right steps. You don't force it upward. You follow the right steps. So bring up your faith. So one way I have to grow is to follow Christ. But how can I follow Christ? Follow the head. Let's see how to follow him again. I'm sure you love the scriptures, right? Hebrews 13 verse 6. We'll take verse 6 and verse 7. Hebrews chapter 13. Verse 6 and verse 7. Okay. Let's take from verse 5. Let your conversation... Be without covetousness and be content with such things as he have. For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. He has said, for he has said, so that we may boldly say, Wow, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man shall do. Unto me. Then verse 7. It says, Remember them which have the rule over you who have 
spoken unto you the word of God. Whose faith follow? <laughs> Considering the end of their discussion, their conversation, their mannerism of speaking, of life. Remember them who have the rule over you. Who have spoken unto you the word of God. Whose faith? Whose faith follow? Considering the end of their discussion. Hello? You have to consider some things. And put yourself in line. With our system. This ministry is, is just about one year. Six months. Seven, eight months of that nature. One year, eight. If a ministry is one year eight and it has carried the church to this level, you need to humble yourself to hear the expansive ability that caused this ministry to grow that fast. It can cause your business to rise up. It can cause your marital life to be stable. It can cause anything you are doing to expand. Expansion is possible to any activity depending on how you inflict it. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Yeah, it is needed. I need to sit down to hear what did you do? How did you do it? And that must be the grace of God behind you. And I follow you to enjoy that grace. All of us will go to heaven, but not same position. Why did the Bible give a specific figure of people called the 24 elders? 24. 24. Are you sure there are only 24 in heaven? Each time there is something on earth, why is it that when God sends a particular angel, he said an angel was sent. But another time, he said Archangel Michael, Gabriel. That means there is ranking even in heaven. So the other angels just submit. Don't say we all are angels. We all are. Submit because authority has been given. The fact that you are a friend to a leader doesn't make you a leader. No, you didn't get what I said. Friendship is not stewardship. I'm a friend to the director doesn't mean you are a director. I was speaking with a pastor from US. He said, the, the, I watch you on a on, a, on YouTube, and I, I think God is using you. I said, sir, you don't think it. He's using me. <laughs> don't think it. He said, that's nice. Uh, won't you visit U.S.? I told him, I've been visiting it. <laughs> you to go. Of course, if I had not visited U.S., how would he know me? So I was in Cameroon, visited through YouTube. You got me. And he said, don't you think it's time to come over? I said, I'll come when it's time. When it's time, I'll come. What, why did I tell you that? Opportunity should not change your plan. Are you following the word? Are you sure? Hmm. Remember them which have the rule over you. Who have spoken to you the word of God? Who have spoken to you the word of God? Whose faith follow? Considering the end of their discussion, of their conversation. Glory to God. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22. 2 Timothy. You have enough scriptures for today. Wow. Verse 22. Flee also what? Youthful lust. Bread follow. Righteousness. Faith. Charity. Peace. With them that call on the Lord out of a pure so how do you follow it? With them. You need to be in a department. 
You need to be a worker in the house with them. Follow it with the choristers, with the ushers, with the protocols, with the sanctuary keepers, with them. Follow it with RTM. Don't follow it by yourself. Follow it with the people God has sent. Ordained to bring answers. With them. Glory to God. Then verse 23. If you want to be a true member in the body of Christ, take into consideration verse 23. We'll read from verse 23 right up to 26. One, two, three, go. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strifes, and the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God, per adventure, will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by at his will. Glory to God. The Bible says, you should avoid foolish and unlearned questions. Avoid them. There are some things that are not necessary to ask. Avoid them. Paul calls it unlearned. He told Timothy, avoid them. Say life has to move on. No matter what it takes, it has to move on. Is that true? Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 8. Second Thessalonians. Let me start from verse 7. Verse 7. For yourselves know how we ought to follow us. He ought to follow us. For we behaved not ourselves disorderly among you. That is one thing I love about Paul. Paul talks not only about spirituality. He talks even about your outward look, godliness. Paul says, you know that we don't walk disorderly among you. We don't walk disorderly. For, our, for yourselves know how you ought to follow us. For we behave ourselves not dishonorably among you. Neither do we eat any man's bread for nothing. That's the meaning for nothing. Are you getting Paul's knowledge here? Paul said your tiger has come here. It's not empty. We are not eating it because we want to eat it. He said we didn't eat any man's bread for nothing. But we are doing with labor and travail night and day. We walk with, with travail night and day. That we might not be chargeable to any of you. Do you know me of chargeable? I should not give account wrongly concerning a particular member in the anointing choir. A particular member in the sanctuary. God's, uh, Paul is saying here that I receive those things wonderfully. Okay, Paul says, we don't eat your bread from nothing. Verse 9, he says, not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you, to follow us. <laughs> For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any will not walk, neither should he what? For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, walking not at all, but abusive bodies. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Paul said that some of you who are busy bodies, but are doing nothing. You wake up in the morning, you dress well, no business, no job. You are bound to steal. You are dressing for stealing. Paul said not that we don't have power. We do have. But we are doing this that you may follow us. So, if somebody asks you, how do I follow Christ? What will you answer? How do I follow Christ? How will you teach the person? One word. 
One sentence. Follow. Follow, sir. Follow my spiritual leader. Follow him. Don't be afraid to be misled. That's the problem with many people. They are afraid to be misled. Look at somebody. Walk the person out in your mind. If the person is qualified, close your eyes and follow. Because at the end, before you go anywhere, you must follow. Am I communicating? We need people, we need people who almost become blind. Towards the grace. So that only the grace sees for you. In orders, you don't know too much. Don't know too much. The message I'm preaching now, I was not born with it. I was giving the message. I have heard of other messages from different people, but I don't deviate. I still preach that which I heard from origin. Just know that the future is bright. I said the future is brighter than you think. Stay tuned. Apostle Divine will be right back.